Majesty. What are you doing out in this? Have you lost your senses? There's a storm blowing you. Wait, it's waited much too long as it is. Look at her eyes. Take the lamp. Hold the lamp closer, Christy. There, there, wee one. I know the light pains you, but be brave, girl. Becky, please sit still. Here. When it hurts, you squeeze my hand. Squeeze as hard as you can. That way, I'll take away some of the pain. I'll be a good girl. Oh, you're always a good girl. I've seen bad things. I picked up my school books on the Sabbath. No, this isn't your fault. You haven't done anything. You have an eye infection. That's right, Becky. There's nothing you have done or could do that would do this to your eyes. There are things out there that you cannot see that get into your eyes and make them hurt. It even happens to very good girls, girls like you. But Dr. McNeil's going to fix your eyes, aren't you? Do you know what's in this tin, Becky? Something very special for good girls. Butterscotch. Help yourself. can't you? She has trachoma. But you must be able to treat it. People have been trying to treat trachoma since the pharaohs built the Sphinx. Becky's case is advanced. What will happen to her? Blindness. Not for a few years. But it's inevitable. No, oh, she can't. She's worked so hard. She just started to read. There must be something you can do. Not at this stage. What about your research? That's all it is, research. But you must have found something. You must have some kind of hope. I've never tested it. I've no idea if it really works. It could make her worse. You're sure Becky will go blind if she's not treated? Then you have to treat her. I don't have the right to test my theories on Becky. God gave you the right when he gave you the gift. You're always so sure you're just like her. Who? Who gave you all the answers? Your God? Your God is too demanding. Christy might be hurt. Something could have happened. Or she could have taken shelter someplace. It won't do her no good if you get hurt. Are you all right? What happened? Mudslide, I need to cut a gap. My horse almost got buried. I had to turn around and come back. I thought you were Christy. Is she out in this? I don't know. Nobody's seen her since school this afternoon. What are you doing? I have to find her. Alex, I'll go! I have to! Nobody knows where we are. Becky's family must be worried. I've got to 
tell them where she is. Are you insane? It's been pouring for hours. I can make it. The river's too high to cross. You're not leaving this cabin. It's all right. There's nothing to be afraid of. I don't like the lights. Oh, you mean the lightning? We're inside. It can't hurt us. It's only the Silky searching for his lost love. Who? The water spirit. God of the sea. You see, Becky, before there was a Christian god, spirits ruled the world. The Silky was a half man and half fish, with long flowing hair of seaweed and a big fish tail that could churn the ocean with foam when he was angry. But the Silky was lonely. He was half man, so he couldn't marry a fish. And he was half fish, so he couldn't marry a woman. But then one day, a beautiful girl with big blue eyes, just like hers, was shipwrecked on his island. And as the Silky pulled her from the waves, he fell instantly in love. And when the girl opened her eyes, she too fell in love with the Silky. And so they were married. And they lived happily ever after. Alas, they did not. The girl's people searched and searched until they found her on the Silky's island. And they insisted that she come home with them. She cried and cried, but it was no use. And so they sailed away. And the Silky was alone again. Poor Silky. The Silky missed his love so much that he raged and cursed and swept the sea with terrible storms. Like this one? Much, much worse. The waves were hundreds of feet high and the clouds were black as coal and miles across. But nothing he could do could bring back his lost love. So Asuki's brother, spirit of the sky, took pity on him and created lightning so that every time the Silky would rage and churn the sea, his brother would light the way to his lost love. Did he ever find her? No, he did not. You can tell by the lightning that he still searches to this very day. <laughs> <laughs> 